What attracted me most to the model, uh, or even what attracted me first to the model, was just a number of the benefits that would come from it. Uh, one of the things, at least from that time, that I was trying to do was to figure out how do I free up my pharmacist to do other services. Uh, pharmacists oftentimes would find themselves very much confined or con confined to the dispensing process, and with that, they would not have the time to provide other types of clinical services, which in our case, is a lot of immunizations, a lot of cognitive services for medication therapy management. Um, when I first became aware of the appointment-based model and I saw the synergies that could come by being able to aggregate blocks of time to be able to provide these, these other services, that's what really got me uh, excited about it at first and uh, made me want to explore it and, and, and set up the pilot program. Pharmacy practice in the United States has historically been very reactive. We are always waiting for the next prescription to present itself, whether that's the patient coming into the store, the telephone ringing, the physician uh, delivering the fax to us in any number of ways. Uh, and what that turns into is you have a lot of work that comes to you at inopportune times, and that can restrict you from doing a lot of the things that you would like to otherwise do. The appointment-based model was very, very intriguing to me because it is proactive. We're able to take, take these opportunities that exist out there, go out and get them, and bring them back in. Uh, that way we're able to do the work that we need to do, but to do it more on more of our own terms. I think the growing interest in the appointment-based model has to do more with the alignment of incentives in the marketplace now, especially from a U.S. perspective. Uh, there is a, um, there's a lot of things that are in place that is putting more and more emphasis on patient adherence and having, having a history to look back on to see what we've been able to do with the standard care that we have done to date. I, I think that has to point us at least in a direction that something else is needed and the appointment-based model makes an awful lot of sense towards addressing not only the adherence issue, but a number of the other opportunities that come up, such as identifying gaps in care, uh, being able to provide additional services. Uh, I think those are the real key things that have helped the appointment-based model gain traction.